Hello everyone, this is Brittany with Redeemable Junk and I'm here today to do a tutorial on the Stacked Envelope Journal. I've already started this one, but we're going to walk through it all together and I'm going to finish some of this one with you guys on camera today. So this is just going to give you an idea of what it is. These are pockets and they all open up. Like I said, this isn't finished yet. We're going to finish it together. And then this is one also that opens up, but we're going to... This goes on this side actually like that and then this one opens up like that and we're gonna ready to finish that on camera and then it opens up on the inside where we're gonna finish it we're gonna put a journal so to start off with I'm gonna move this out of the way and show you guys what you need you need a manila file folder and I don't cut mine or anything I just simply fold it in half that's what I do okay so what we're gonna do is we just fold it in half and then we're going to collect a bunch of envelopes, okay, all different sizes. And this is just to give you guys an idea. And what you're going to do is you're going to start stacking them on each side of your file folder. And you want them at different heights, okay, so they give it gives it dimension. And that one probably should have went on first because it's a little bit bigger. So let me show you guys. You get your envelopes how you want them, okay? And then you start decorating them, okay? I'm going to show you guys how we decorate them, okay? I'm going to bring my other one back. I'm going to try to keep this as simple and short as possible. See, I've already decorated these envelopes. I'm going to show you guys how to attach them also here in just a minute. But right now, I left one envelope for us to decorate together and the back part to decorate together because um, I'm going to glue the envelopes onto this and show you guys how to do all that. So, let's go ahead and decorate this one together. So, I'm going to move some of this out of my way. I'm going to try to stay as organized as possible so I don't forget where my stuff was. Try to move that out of my way. Where can I put it? I slide it right up there. Okay. Now what I have here is I'm going to show you guys. It's just a regular envelope, okay? And we are going to decorate it together. I've already kind of got the layout of what I want. I decided I wanted this background and what I do is I start on the top and I work my way down and please don't look at my nails they need done they're horrible my daughter just got out of the hospital about a week ago and it's been crazy here so I haven't really had time to do them but you're gonna start on the top and work your way down so you can make sure everything matches okay this is gonna be my last one and I already kind of have an idea of how I want it done okay so right now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna glue this page down to the envelope okay my flap is on this side because it's going to be opening up this way okay so let's get that done I'm just using some art glitter glue right now and then I'm gonna go over it with my glue stick to spread it all out I like to do it this way because I think it sticks better art glitter sticks better than um, a glue stick and the glue stick just gives it that extra reinforcement and helps spread out the art glitter glue. This is just my method of doing it. You do not have to do it that way. Let's see if I can get this straight. I usually stand up and do this because I'm so short. Okay, now you can see I glued this already down. I just put a bead of glue down the inside of there. Some of your envelopes will come down further, and when that happens, when you glue your page on, you actually want to put your glue on the envelope and then just put a bead of glue down the edge of it and glue it down, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut our slit in our envelope to make it a pocket. 
So we're just going to cut down the edge of it. And that will open our envelope up for us, okay? I'm going to go ahead and ink it real quick. Because it definitely needs ink. I would use this doily that's been coffee stained. I really like it. And this cute little girl. That's as far as I've gotten. <laughs> I haven't gotten really much further. Maybe we could put a little uh, button down there. Let's see what that would look like. Hmm. I kind of like that gray a little bit. Let's see. Oops. I'm dropping stuff. Let's see if I cut a piece of cheesecloth out. Maybe it's early in the morning. My brain ain't working real well. Let's start by getting her glued down to the cheesecloth. Because I know that I want her on there, so... All the other pocket or all the other pockets I've been putting pockets on the front of them on most of them. But this one I'm gonna decorate. Let's get this glued down. I think that's where I want it. Let's see. That works. Let me see. Let me stand above it. I was going to put it down a little lower. That's all good. Because she'll look good below it or above it. So let me see. I'm going to go grab some antique uh, lace and I'll be right back. Look at all this yummy goodness. I love it. Let me get this out of the way. So let me see here. That's a little bit bigger than I was wanting. Maybe this would be pretty. Let's see. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's glue this down. And then I will move on to show you guys how to glue the, um, the actual envelopes down to the journal. I might have time to do this whole series in one video, which would be awesome if I could.
I should have left that upside down. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. Okay. Get my buttons moved out of the way. Let me grab our file folder. Okay. <coughs> now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all this stuff out of my way so i got some room to work. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get our envelopes stacked how we want them. And this goes for the back page, which I can move right now. I'm going to actually set this aside because we'll be decorating that in just a minute. Okay. So, let me see where we're at. So, this goes here first. And then I got this that goes over it. And then I want this to stack right there. And then that to stack there. That one to stack there. And that one to stack there. Okay. See if I'm doing this right. Oh no, our button fell off. I'll just put it back on. Okay, so you should have three envelopes or on each side or four envelopes. It just depends on how many envelopes you put on. It looks dark in my photo, in my video. Is it dark to you guys? Huh, that's weird. Okay, anyways, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to glue these together, okay? flap side of the envelopes we're going to glue together okay this one needs to go up a little bit There we go. Okay. And now we're going to glue these envelopes together. Now we're going to get our file folder and we're going to glue those flaps down to the file folder like this and then we're going to cover that up with some paper, okay? I just want to make sure that it all lays right first. That wasn't supposed to happen. I wish that. There. Darn it. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of issue. I wanted that to lay flat. Okay. I need to make sure this is all going to work out real quick. So that one's a little big. So I might actually glue my left side 
to my back part. And you can do that also, okay? Because if I don't, my one envelope is gonna hang over the edge too much. It's not gonna allow room for my other flip to flip, okay? If that makes sense. So I'm just gonna glue that to the back part. Like I said, you improvise when you run into problems, okay? There's no right or wrong way to make a junk journal. Okay, so that part's glued on. Now I'm gonna glue this part onto here, and I could glue it to the other side of this. like so, but I have, um, what I'm putting on the inside of this, I'll show you guys real quick, is I'm putting this on the inside of this, and since it's see-through, see it's see-through, you would see my envelopes behind it, so I decided to glue it to the other side, and before I glue that down, let me think for a minute, because I'm wanting to sew this after I glue that on. I can still sew it. I just want to make sure. Actually, I can't. And I already glued that on. That's okay. We're not going to sew nothing. I'll just glue it shut. I'm just going to keep this simple. Okay. I should have did that first if I was going to do that. So we're going to glue this down now. That kind of stinks. Cause that's still over a little bit. So I might have to cut some of that off on the end because it's a little bit too long. But that's okay. We're just going to now it lays down. Okay. We fixed that problem. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Okay. Now we need to decorate this part and cover this up. And I forgot to do the back of the envelope, too, so we'll decorate that together. Um, trying to think here how I had this. Yes, I remember now. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that now. I should have decorated that before I glued it down, but that's okay. Like I said... We're going to make it work. I'm not perfect. I never proclaim to be perfect. I might have to cut that down just a little bit. And this I'm going to have to also since I cut the envelope. So I'll be right back. Okay, so let's get these glued down. So I'm just going to do the... I don't have much workspace. We're just going to do the same thing as we did on the other page. I forgot that I was going to decorate that one with you guys on camera. I thought it was already glued down. Okay.
And as you can see, a little bit of that envelope is showing. So I'm just going to try to distress it a little bit. This would have been much easier to glue down if I would have done it before I glued the page down, but it is what it is. Now we're going to glue our back page down. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that was the sticker thing that makes it sticky. Give me a little bit of extra stickiness. Okay. I decided to put a ledger pa a piece of paper on the back of that so they can journal on it. I was going to make it into a pocket, but I decided not to do that. Okay, so to make sure that it both closes on both sides. Okay. Now what my plan was for over here was to glue this onto here and decorate it a little bit. I have a piece of cheesecloth that I'm sticking this flower to just to give it a little bit more. Um, definition. I was going to stick this cloth um, Tim Holtz tape to the page. Just to bring out the blues, I have um, blue cloth on the right page. I'll show you guys in just a minute. So I was really wanting to bring that blue cloth out and Right here, I got blue in that, so I was wanting to kind of carry the blue over to the other page. And this is a pocket, as all of you already know, I'm sure, that have been junk journaling long enough. And for those that don't, this is a pocket. I have a tutorial on how to make those. If you're new and you do not know how to make them, they're very easy to make. Okay, glue that there. And then we have our front part done, okay guys? I shouldn't have probably used those big envelopes because they're making it a little hard for my stuff to bend down, but that's okay. I should have just stuck with smaller envelopes. They're already glued down here. Let me try to get my bone folder. Where did I do with it? Anybody see it? Here it is. Let me try to... If 
you guys not love this page? This is a real flower. It fell apart when I was trying to glue it on. So I just took the petals and I glued them on. I just love it. I think it's so pretty. So this is what we got for the front so far, okay? And remember, these are all pockets. And I'm going to go ahead and put my notches in all the pockets now to show you guys. <gasps> and something I forgot and I'm going to do next. I didn't forget. We're good. Okay, so this opens up. This opens up. This opens up. I'm going to put my notch in this now. That opens up. That opens up. I do not like that background, so I'm just going to take this part that I just cut off. And I'm going to glue it back down. The only thing crappy about it is it looks like the doily came off on it. But that's okay. That comes off and then we got these in here. Okay. So next you're going to want something to hold this shut. Okay. Because as you can see, it's a little bit chunky. Okay. So now is where you're going to put your seam binding or your um, whatever type of um, binding you decide to use. You're going to put them on the inside of here before we seal it shut, okay? Let me see if I have enough seam binding. I think I do. I think we'll just go with this brown. It matches. Awesome. Okay. So I was really wanting to sew this, but I'm just going to have to glue it, which really stinks, but that's okay. I think that should be long enough. So we're just going to cut it right here. And like I said, I'm just guesstimating on how long I need my pieces. And I want them kind of low, my, my tie so it holds her shut. So I think right there would be a good spot. Let's mark it on the other side so I get it in the same spot. Okay, here's a little tip I wasn't thinking. I was wanting my seam binding to come around to hold these shut. So you're going to want to make your string that is furthest away, that's on the opposite end of your stack, longer than your one in the front because it has to go all the way around and back up to the front to tie. I wasn't thinking whenever I did that, but it's totally okay. It still ties. Um, I just wasn't thinking whenever I did that. Okay, so now why that's drying is we're going to go ahead and ink up all the edges because, sorry, some seam binding came out. We aren't going to be able to cover all this up. I guess you could if you really are anal about it or really, you know, particular about it, but I'm not. So I'm just going to ink the edges up. Ooh, it's a lot of ink. up here there I think that looks good and here's another tip you could have decorated this part first um, it might have been easier to do so so it's flat when you're putting it down so you don't have all this bulk to work with so 
you should probably do that first. It's just, it's personal preference. You don't have to do it first, but it's probably easier if you do. Now, I've seen some people Mod Podge these down. I'm just going to try to glue mine, and we're going to see how it works. Um, yeah, so I'm not real sure. Um, maybe we should Mod Podge it. Like, give me a minute to think about it. Okay, I decided not to Mod Podge it. I used Fabri-Tac, and then I used my Scotch glue stick to spread it all out. And it's sticking beautifully, okay? So, if you want to use Mod Podge, you can. Or you can use glue. Whatever you want to use. Now, we have this little up here that we need to cut. So, I'm going to cut it now. And I've got to keep this video under... 45 minutes or else for some reason I don't know why but my phone cuts it off into two videos which is super weird I don't understand it okay we're almost finished guys we really are So now we're going to glue these together where it comes apart. We're just going to put a bead of glue down the inside and it makes that a pocket. Okay. And then we're going to gather papers to make our signature on the inside, our journal. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to pause this video and I'll be right back. Okay, before this video cuts off on me, I'm going to go ahead and make this a two-part series. I'll show you what I did real quick. Is I just gathered some paper, some different types of paper. I'll show you guys. And I put them together in a signature. Okay. And then we're going to bind them in in the next video. And make sure to watch this video in the next video because I have a giveaway. You heard me right. We are going to be giving away a Tim Holtz stamp pad. It's brand new, never been used. So one lucky winner is going to win this. Um, all you have to do is comment on the video, like the video, and be a, a, a subscriber to my channel, and also a member of Redeemable Junk Journal's Facebook group. So one lucky winner will win this. Congrats, or what, what was I saying? Congratulations. Good luck to everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.